hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video as you guys can see i'm obviously not at my regular home i'm at my other home anyways uh with that said and welcome to today's video where we are discussing contracts I said please do not forget that none of my videos are legal advice if you are looking for legal advice please go and consult with a legal practitioner or an advisor whichever one that you prefer One of the first things that you must look into for um, a contract first of all let's first discuss some of the things that in order for you to establish whether you have a contract or not with this particular person there has to be consensus by consensus we mean meeting of the minds i do have notes on this phone here so i'll keep looking down so all parties must agree to what the contract is like who has to do what who has a right to do what so you have to agree on the rights and obligations the second most important thing is capacity to contract in that you are in contract with actually have the capacity to contract and also capacity can be limited in so many ways minors have limited capacity married people who are married in community of property need certain things to be agreed upon by their spouse in order for them to get into a contract so you must know that there is capacity and then the, the third thing is formalities if there are certain formalities that need to be followed before a certain contract gets into uh, a certain contract is um, fulfilled you have to follow all of those formalities and if you don't it doesn't constitute a valid contract one of the major things is whether is the contract actually legal if you enter into an illegal contract you don't have any legal recourse where you would go and fight that so if you enter into a contract with somebody who is a thief or whatever it is or to contract maybe something that is illegal like selling off um illegal, uh, illegal substances that contract cannot be enforced in court because it's not a a it's not it doesn't meet all the legal uh basis for it so you can't enforce it anyway so and then possibility of performance again you can't contract with somebody for something that is impossible like say i want you to go and get me the sun and bring it to my house impossible so that it has to be possible to perform that certain contract and then certainty People must be certain. They mustn't be like things. I'm not sure what does it mean for him to say they want me to come in at seven ish. You have to be clear. You're coming in at seven and leaving work at three. I want you in during this time to work eight hours a day in order for me to have a contract. Have to be certain that this is the contract, this is the agreement that I'm coming into. If you are not, you cannot enforce that. And then lastly, um, there has to be an acceptance of the offer and acceptance. So the offer has to be in place. So you discuss and discuss, but okay, this is what it is, okay. So in order for it to be legally binding, the person that you are making an offer to must accept the contract otherwise it's not legally binding there is nothing that you can do about that um that contract because it is not valid i should stop looking at myself in the mirror it's not valid so you must actually be able to say okay this person accepted this offer that i made on the 21st of november of december I made this offer they accepted it and then they accepted it on the 22nd then we came into agreement because you meet all of the essential parts of a contract so if a person comes to you as a legal uh practitioner candid legal practitioner they come in you ask them did you act to in order for you to ascertain if you can actually uh, help them maybe they are alleging breach of contract they are alleging that they didn't agree to certain things like that you have to look at the contract that they got into, especially like insurance things. They come back and say, no, I didn't agree to this. I didn't do this. 
actually sometimes they might have agreed to but they did it just slipped their mind so the moment that you ascertain that actually all of these things were met and none of them were obtained maybe through duress misrepresentation all of the things that may make it invalid you can't assist that person with the breach of contract it can assist a person if there are certain things like, as I've mentioned, misrepresentation in giving the contract, duress, this person was forced, and every other thing that might actually invalidate the contract. Comment down below and tell me what are the things that could actually invalidate a contract. Let me know if you know them. And yeah, if you are getting into a contract, ensure that all of these things are met. And if you are assisting a person who is in a contract, but now saying they were not in a contract, just check if all of these things were there and if they were there unfortunately they are in a valid contract and must meet their obligations and if they want to cancel it obviously they were they may suffer consequences of paying maybe early cancellation fees or being liable to do whatever it is that they wanted to do immediately they had to do immediately or whatever the consequences of cancelling that contract is which would be stipulated in their contract or agreement anyways that's it i love you lots and happy holidays bye